Presenting the transcription feature, Superman. Up in the sky. Look. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Now Superman, valiant fighter for truth and justice, champion of the weak and the oppressed, who has appeared on Earth from the outer reaches of the universe with a physical structure never before attained by mortal men. Superman who is stronger than a locomotive, faster than a speeding bullet, and who walks about among human beings as mild Clark Kent, news reporter for the Daily Planet. When we last saw him, Kent, Asa Hatch, and Governor Carson were in the office of the superintendent of Buffalo Hills in answer to an urgent summons, only to find that the superintendent who had summoned them was mysteriously dead. As our story continues today, some time has passed. It is the morning of the dedication ceremonies at the new Pioneer's National Monument. Kent and Hatch are pleading with the governor not to take part. Listen. Well, there goes the clock, gentlemen. Half past ten. If we're going to be ready for the great unveiling at noon, we'd better be on our way. Governor, please. I'm not talking through my hat, honestly. Now, Kent, look here. You've been talking for the past half hour, and you haven't yet produced a single valid reason why I shouldn't go to Buffalo Hill. Oh, my dear Carson, that's hardly fair. Look here, sir. Two nights ago, the superintendent was mysteriously killed. Since then, two watchmen have fallen off the face of the cliff. Now, if that doesn't prove something's going to happen today, I... Did you believe he's right, my dear fellow? Nonsense. Now, look here, Hatch. You've been taking pictures of the cliff, haven't you, from various angles? Oh, yes, indeed, for the last two days. Well, you haven't noticed anything queer, have you? Well, after all, Carson, the dastardly plot would hardly appear in a photograph. All right, but nobody else has noticed anything queer either. And we've had guards all over the place. Governor... Flores is a dangerous man. If he's up to something, and I'm convinced of it, you don't think he'd show his hand, do you? Now, I warn you, sir, don't go out to those ceremonies today. Don't do it. Seriously, my dear fellow, I share Mr. Kent's opinion. You mustn't do it. On the contrary, I must do it. By confounded, do you realize what's going on today? 15,000 people from all over the country are here at Buffalo Hills to watch that dedication. Greatest group of carvings the world's ever seen. Half a mile up, on the face of the cliff. I've got to be there to welcome them. Now, come along, Kent. The cars are waiting down below. Let's be on our way. But, Governor... No, 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 no more arguing. I'm going to here. But Kent and Hatch are right. Even as the cars of the governor's party wind through the mountains toward the scene of the dedication, deadly danger waits at Buffalo Hills. In a tunnel in the cliff, above and beyond the giant carvings in the stone, Pete Flores talks with Dutchy Gann and makes his final plan. Listen. What you doing, Pete? I just set the last cues, Dutchy. We are in the rock behind the car. Right below is where the governor will stand, directly under the cliff. When the cliff falls, it will fall on the governor and fall in the crowd, too. Gee, but they'll see it. They know it was dynamite. Ah, no, no, it is more clear. High up in the mountain, Dutchy, there are other charges. Just enough to start a, how you say, avalanche. Yeah? What? An avalanche, tons and tons of rocks. They come down, strike the top of the cliff. Big noise. Oh, oh I get it. Then what? When the rocks hit the top of the cliff, they set off more charges. All the charges back of the car, right over the head of the governor. <laughs> Dutchy, way to the sea. When does it happen? At noon. The gun goes off in the valley. Then I throw the switch. See, right here. Mm -hmm. And that sets off the avalanche on the mountain. At noon, when the gun goes off. Time goes fast, mi amigo. Already the crowd collects down there. Hey, listen, Pete. What are you going to do? How are you going to get away yourself? You will wait in the car, that she on the cliff road, where we have left the car for the past three days. But you won't have time. Plenty of time. Three minutes before the crash comes, I throw the switch, and then I run, getting the car. We go fast. And after it is all over, who remembers seeing car on Cliff Road? Maybe they think it lost in Avalanche. Gee, I sure hope nothing slips. So, so believe me, mi amigo. Nothing can slip now. When gun goes off on noon, you hear what I say. It speaks the end for Governor Casa. Now quick, help me fix the last fuse. Then go. Well, Hatch, anything new? Not so far, Kent. Have you discovered anything? Oh, can't see a thing. I'm just as sure as I am that I'm standing here that something's going to happen. They're cheering the governor. He's just come out on the platform. What's the time? Just a few minutes to 
Well, uh, look, they're weaving that antiquated saluting cannon up into position. Well, whatever happens, we'll know soon enough now. Oh, stop worrying. Look at these pictures, Kent. Enlargements of the photographs I took yesterday. Oh, nice work, all right. Yes. Yeah. What's that little dot up in the corner there? Let me see. Uh... Oh, oh, oh. oh, yes, that, that's a car. It seems to be in this picture, too. Workman, I imagine. Oh. Where did you take this from, Hatch? Just about here, my dear fellow. Practically the same angle. Uh-huh. Uh, yes, by Jove, and there's that car again. Uh, look, uh, up there on the cliff right now. Huh? Where? Oh, yes, I see it. Up there just above the cliff. Yes. Yeah. What the... But, Ken, is anything wrong? What, what are you looking at? Nothing. Nothing at all. Well, then come along. We'd better get to our places. Uh, go ahead, Hatch. I'll be right with you. Uh, save me a seat, will you? Well, but what are you doing? Where, where are you going? Don't wait. You go ahead. I just want to see somebody. I should say I do want to see somebody. I want to see the man in that car on the cliff. Good thing Superman has telescopic eyesight. Quick now. I'll duck back at these rocks. Nobody will see me here. Up we go. Up. Up. Thank heaven for Hatch's pictures I'd never have noticed. That car is the same one they used to kidnap me in, and the man in it. I'm not sure yet. Uh, yes, I am, too. The man in it is Dutchy Gann. Well, look out for yourself, Dutchy. Here I come. Hey, hey, where'd you come from? Ah, you've seen me before. Remember what happened to you? Where's Pete Flores and what's he doing? Quick, Dutchy, talk. No, 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 I'll talk. I'll talk. He's in the tunnel. What tunnel? Right over there. He's going to start an avalanche when the gun goes off. What? When the gun goes off? Keep talking, man. Uh, rocks. They'll come down off the mountain, hit the top of the cliff, quick, and... Quick, quick, don't stop. Flores, he'll explode the whole works. The avalanche will touch it off. Yes? The cliff will fall on the governor. The governor. Flores is in the tunnel right now. That's all I need to know. I'll handle the rest. And Flores, too. Down that tunnel. Faster! Faster! down the mountain, right for the top of the cliff. Down comes the full force of the avalanche, heading straight for the dynamite charges in the top of the cliff. Only one man's figure in the way. Red cloaks streaming in the rush of wind. Steel muscles tense. Superman defies the mountain. One final boulder. Huge mass of rock bounding and spinning in the air. If I can keep standing where I am, I can deflect it down that gully. Miss the cliff clean. And miss those crowds down below. I don't know. It's shoving me back. No, here's the biggest one yet. Last chance. Now then. Now this is the one that does it. Last chance. If this one gets by me, here it is. Now. Ah, made it. Turn the slide into that gully. And they're safe. They're safe down below. Now up. Up and away. Dear fellow, where on earth have you been? Oh, hello, Hatch. Uh, what's happened? Is everything all over? What do you mean to say you didn't see it? Oh, I had a job to do. I just happened to think of it. Uh, what did happen? Why, Kent, it was amazing. Just as the gun went off, a rock slide started from the top of the mountain. No. In fact, came straight for the top of the cliff. And then something happened. We couldn't see. There was too much dust. Yes? But it was just as though some tremendous hand came down and threw back the rocks. What? No one hurt, not a trace of damage. Gosh, to think I missed all that. And my dear fellow, the pictures I got. Uh, oh, look, here, here comes the governor. Hey there, Kent. Yes? Hello, Patrick. Well, 
quite a bit of excitement, eh? Well, can't say we didn't warn you, Governor. Well, Kent, that was an accident. If you think you can lay that to Flory's, well, and anyhow, I'm still here. If it was Flory's work, where is he? Oh, I, I say, I, I was wrong. There was someone hurt. What's that? Where? Up on the cliff. It seems there was a car. It started off just before the slide, and when the avalanche poured down that gully, the car was right underneath. Well, who was in it? Governor will never know. Whoever it was, poor fellows, they're buried under tons of rock. Poor fellows, don't you believe it? What? Who spoke? Why, well, Kent, my dear fellow, was that you? Your voice? What do you mean? Oh, sorry, I... Gosh, I guess I was just carried away. Say, uh, you were right about Flores, Governor. He'll never touch you now. Well, I was never seriously alarmed, Kent. I was, but I'm not now. Everything's all right. Well, got your pictures, Mr. Hatch? Oh, my dear fellow beauties, wait till Perry White sees them. And wait till he sees my story. Well, so long, everybody. I've got to find a telegraph wire. The governor saved in the nick of time. Pete Flores removed by the rock slide which he himself started. And Clark Kent with another scoop. Once again, Superman has served the forces of law and order. Rescued the champion of good government in the heart of the Buffalo Hills. Next week, another thrilling, exciting story of Superman. Tune in and don't miss the beginning. Up in the sky. Look. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Superman is a copyrighted